The town of Cedar Lake has just started a dredging project to dredge 500,000 cubic yards of sediment out of Cedar Lake. So here's a couple of map that shows uh, some of what's going on here. Here's some photos of what the dredging operation looks like. And before we get into the details, I want to suck you in with some cool photos. So here is a photo of what the dredging machine looks like. We got another photo of the dredger in action and you can see the here. So the dredger's doing its thing and then it shoots the nastiness into a pipe here. And you guys may recognize here, this is the northeast yeah northeast side of the lake where the dredger is the pipe actually runs all the way down to the south and we'll get to that uh, but here's those uh, cool looking condos over on the northeast side the ice cream place i think is right over here here is the sediment basin that they're pumping it to so here's another photo of the dredging rig oh actually actually this is where they're putting the pipe together and so the dredger is going to go over here and then pump to here and this guy boosts the slurry to go over to the next field that it's being dumped into so now this is the the field that was built to receive the sediment and so what happens is that it's getting pumped in over here we got another photo and then it goes and this this wall here is to make sure that the flow doesn't short circuit straight to the outlet but it dumps in here it gives the sediment has time to settle out and then the effluent the water stuff goes back to this overflow wall here so here's another photo you see that i love this part where it's just like the pipe just dumps over the edge of the of the embankment here so this is all just earth you know they, this is engineered earth uh, with a berm around the edge and we'll see that yeah here's the pipe coming in that's dumping all the slurry mix in and you can actually see you know some of the slurry here and then they you know it works its way around to the outlet structure so here is the outlet structure right here so what happens is that these are uh like two by eight planks or something and it allows water to slowly seep in and then if the water got to us an, an overflow elevation it would just go straight through but then that's how the water slowly goes back out yeah and here is a map of the town of cedar lake so this is facing north here and so the north end the dredging started over here and then it's getting pumped out there's a pipe that goes all the way it's in the water kind of floats and then goes to the south and there's this property right over here that that is where they built the receiving structure to receive the sediment that will then the sediment will settle out as a quick introduction my name is tony anzer i'm a real estate agent serving both northwest indiana and chicagoland so i got you covered on both sides of the border uh, my information is above and in the contact in the contract information below yeah if you would uh if you get any value out of this, of this video if you would hit that like and subscribe mainly the subscribe that really helps out the channel and it will notify you when we put out new content which is weekly and also we do these videos to help our clients uh if, so if you're looking to move in nine or 90 days or just Want more information about the area feel free to reach out that's why we do these videos we love hearing from you all right here's the highlights of the program itself so as you know cedar lake is not known as being the cleanest lake like if you when you jump in your visibility is not that much you know if you put your hand deep into the water you probably won't even see it uh so this is this project that clean us up is called the lake ecosystem restoration project also known as the lake dredging project so we have the dredging dredging barge out in the water we got the sediment dewatering system that was built last year. Uh, that was that big dirt structure. So they're taking out a half million cubic yards of sediment. Now that's a lot. We'll get into how much is that really. This project lasts until 2025. The dredging happens seven days a week, 12 hours a day in the months. Basically when there's not ice out there. Uh, there's, so there's dredging lines that are that like float through the water and they're marked with buoys. So when you're boating, you actually do have to watch out for them and go around. This project's been three decades in the making. And what's pretty cool is that one of the metrics of what is this project going to do, not only is it going to take the soot from around the edges and make it more, the, water, the lake just more enjoyable, but it's supposed to give you three to four feet of clarity so that when you look down through the lake, you'll actually be able to see through three, four feet. Now you really have hardly any visibility, so it's going to just, it's going to make the area a lot more desirable too. The website here is HTTPS, Cedar Lake, Indiana, org. And there's the rest of the URL there if you wanted to catch the village or the town's website and they give updates regularly. So we mentioned that there's a half a million or 500,000 cubic yards of sediment being removed from the lake. So how much is that? So 500,000 cubic yards is about 151 Olympic swimming pools. So think of the swimming pools used for the Olympics and you fill that up about 151 of those this is how much sediment's going to be removed from the lake these next few slides get into the schedule so in 2023 
They had the pipeline construction. They had to sleeve it through the CSX railroad embankment. Do some other work there. They built the, I think last year it was, they built the, the sediment station. There was an informational meeting, 2024. Prepare and inspection of the pipeline. They're dredging 120,000 cubic yards. And then the schedule kind of repeats. Here's 2025, which is the same thing. So April through November, they're going to be dredging, getting 120,000 cubic yards of material out. And then in November, they remove the pipeline in anticipation of freezing. And then they stabilize the sediment dewatering facility. So they call it the SDF, the sediment dewatering facility. And that's the big dirt structure that receives the sediment to settle it out. So then when the project's complete, what happens? So or what's the final deliverables? So in 2026 and beyond, uh, IDNR is going to perform a complete fishery restoration. <laughs> I had to spit that one out. And then this milestone is pretty cool. So IDNR is going to follow up and perform a complete fishery restoration to remove non-native and invasive species, which is really cool. There's going to be some alum treatment to make the water all good before restocking. And then IDNR is going to restock and restore the fishery. And if you're enjoying this video, you might also like my video, All of Cedar Lake Explained, which goes into way more detail about the town of Cedar Lake and also all about Northwest Indiana. So those are two videos that you might also like to see too, that will give you more information about the region. All right, this slide deck is on that Cedar Lake webpage. This just shows the schematic of what's going on where. So in this, you see this is the lake. The lake is like 780 acres, as I recall. 640 is a square mile, just for perspective. So you see here, if you wanted to freeze frame this and look into this, that, that they'll show you like what areas they're focusing on for sediment removal and then how much they're looking to get out of each area. And then you can see that here is pipeline is gonna be floating. And then this is on the southwest end is the routing of the pipeline that goes out to the SDF, the sediment dewatering facility. If you're an engineer or some sort of data nerd, you might like this slide that just kind of gets into the cross sections of what's going on with the sediment dewatering facility and the pipelines. This slide here gives you perspective on how big the sediment dewatering facility is. So it takes up a pretty good section of land here. This slide here shows the budget, $5.5 million, which really doesn't seem like all that bad, which includes all this different stuff listed here. This slide shows the schedule. So we'll see that we were, you know, the pumps are already in, winterize. So we've got 2022, this started the actual dredging work and 2021, 22 permitting design. And then the annual cycle kind of repeats through 2026. Yeah, and here are some cool photos just showing how the dredging operation works with floats for the pipe. You got this neat dredger and this is a cutting head that cuts into the soot and pulls it out. Uh, this is another dredge style. Pretty neat. This thing self-propelled. So this is like what makes it walk. And then this is the cutting head that shoots it up the pipe. To then go through and get pumped out. Here's some dredging equipment in action. So you see the cutting head here. This dredger doing its thing in the water. Here's the cutting head here for that dredger. One well, thing that's kind of neat here, this, this is HDPE pipe. And what's neat with that pipe is you can cut it and re-weld it together like almost unlimited times. So it's pretty neat to see that going on here. The pipe section comes out and basically how long a semi is. And then they uh, they call this butt fusing the pipe together. So they heat up both ends of the pipe with this metal plate and then while it's still melty they just squish the pipe together and that's how it gets welded together this shows what the consistency of the sludge is coming out and you can see here i'm pointing with my pan but you can't see so i use the mouse you can see that the solids are separating out and then the water trails to the outlet structure so uh, it's doing its natural thing right here I uh, see the collar here, there's more sludge pumping out in different directions. So then when the project's done, you're left with soil like this, and the soil is pretty rich in different nutrients, and so it's uh, reused for different purposes. I think you can spread it on farm fields and it will have like uh, good nitrogen and some other stuff. Don't quote me on that, but there is some uh, pretty good use reuses for it. It's not like it goes to a landfill or something, so it does get repurposed. All right, yeah, my contact info is on the screen here. Please reach out if you got any buying or selling needs or just one more information about the area we have community tours for tons of communities in the area so you can look on our channel or reach out and i can shoot you any information you're looking for all right thanks for watching we'll see you around town